all you would-be raiders out there can raid these T. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. Hey, so you've all heard of the so-called Silver Raid. A certain channel, hey, is promoting it, and some, like Empire Precious Metals, Backyard Bullion, Cash and Coins, to name a few, are calling him out. Hey, I find myself in that camp, uh, not so much for calling an individual out, but challenging his philosophy. And uh, I listened to him today, and he's got a clear-cut argument for uh, what he's doing and why, uh, but that's just not for me. All you would-be raiders out there can raid these numismatics. Things like this Morgan Dollar. Take a look. This old green holder. Or maybe like this eight reals. Raid this at your local coin shop. Or perhaps things like these generic silver rounds. Uh, I prefer myself. I prefer the ones with a little bit of character to them. And you know, here's a cool one right here. How do you like that one? Very cool, huh? And uh, a lot of these generics uh, have, in the generic bin, you can find them. And they've got a lot of, hey, look, my daughter's going to Purdue. Uh, a lot of character. There's something to raid. Or you could raid gold. Or you could raid platinum. Or you could raid some really cool old school bars like this one here. Not bad, huh? 1980s cool stuff, vintage. Hey, you could raid even a 1998 Mexican Libertad, or if you prefer, you could raid the old Prospector. Maybe even a Sammy Sosa round. Hey, raid whatever you want, whenever you want. Hey, my philosophy is buy what you can, when you can. Don't stress yourself out trying to buy everything you're going to buy all on one day or do that. It's up to you. I am simply sharing my philosophy by what you can, when you can. For me personally, slow and steady wins the race. And to go all in on one day just seems to me to be a little bit nuts. Now, let's talk a little bit about this uh, raid. Uh, you know, who is behind this? Well, I grew up in East Chicago, so I know a little bit about corruption. And something smells a little rotten to me. And so whenever I find myself in this situation or see these circumstances, I always follow the money. And I question, who stands to get rich off of this so-called one-day raid. Just think about it. Where does all that money trickle back to? It trickles back to one particular company. This company, this entity, owns a bunch of the online dealers, uh, the majority. And if you don't believe me, all you have to do is check out the video made by one of the smartest guys on YouTube. His name happens to be Silver Heist. Now, hey, that's just about all I'm going to say about that. And I really appreciate you guys watching, listening to me spout my opinion on this particular topic. Uh, again, that one guy uh, and his channel, I wish him nothing but the best, but his philosophy and mine are just a little bit different. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed today's video, stick around. And uh, I've got another one queued up for you right here that you might really enjoy. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button up top. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.